welcome to Hill Murray. I'm Liz Marin. I am the chair of the World Language Department. And I'm going to present today about our World Language Department and all of the great opportunities we have for middle school and high school. For our middle school, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students have the opportunity to take a great class called Exploring World Languages. Our exploratory class is a semester elective. Um, students learn a bit of Spanish, a bit of French, actually a bit of Chinese, and some Latin this year. And um, it, because it's just a semester class, it isn't um, an intensive language program by any means. Obviously, they learn a lot about the vocabulary, culture, some music, some geography, history, um, just kind of, uh, kind of what is language and what makes up different languages and why are there other languages in the world. So it's a really fun, interesting uh, elective for our middle school students. Our eighth grade students are actually allowed to take level one Spanish or level one French, and that is a high school class meaning it is high school curriculum, but it's only eighth graders who will be in the class. So there's a separate eighth grade level one Spanish and an eighth grade level one French. That's a great opportunity if students want to take that. It is a full year class because it allows them to go into level two then as a freshman in high school, which is a great benefit. The languages we offer for our high school students are French and Spanish. Um, we offer levels one, two, three to any of those grades, ninth through twelfth. And then we also offer honors courses, and those are our level four and level five classes. Our level six class is a college credit class, college in the schools program. Um, if we have enough students to offer that, we like to offer that opportunity for students to actually get college credit for their language learning. So all the way up through level five or six. Um, a question that is always asked is what do colleges want to see? And I would say that many colleges have an entrance requirement, meaning that they want to see students show up already having had language on their high school transcript. Often it's three or four years if it's a very competitive school. Um, and some ha don't have that, but they have what's called an exit requirement, meaning they need to um, meet that language requirement at college. So our recommendation is that students should take language as soon as possible, and they should take at least three years of a single world language to be able to meet those requirements. Um, in any world language class, we do a lot of activities, speaking, listening, understanding, reading, writing, culture. Um, there go, there's a lot that goes into uh, learning another language, so we want to make sure that we're hitting all of those um, areas. We do a lot of partner and small group work, games, interactive activities, a lot of multimedia, audio, video, web-based learning. There are a lot of great programs out there to help us teach our languages. Um, obviously, we like to have fun along the way, so every once in a while, uh, we might uh, get a chance to bake something or cook something. Uh, Spanish students have done a lot of service in our community, so these are some photos from that. I bring students to France every other year. I have for a very long time. This is one of my Hillmarie student groups uh, in Paris at the Sacre Coeur Basilica, and um, it's a great opportunity to travel. Mostly, it is juniors and seniors who take those trips. We've had a trip to Spain, we've had trips to Guatemala, to Spain and France together. Um, just some great opportunities for travel um, and using the student's language. Again, that's usually the older students. So thank you so much for uh, participating in our virtual tour of the school and I hope you choose Hill Murray. Thank you.